mountain. A few months ago, at the very top of a 9,000 foot mountain in a remote part of Nepal, this hospital looked like this. 9,000 feet in Nepal, what is that? Like, is that like uh, one of like Mount Everest like kids or something? Because of its isolation, this community has no electricity, meaning that local doctors have no access to proper medical equipment and often had to perform surgeries and complex procedures in the dark using only a flashlight and very basic tools. If more complex care was needed, it would take hours to walk to a better medical facility. These limitations have resulted in many fatalities and miscarriages. So our long-term partners Give Power, who we have worked with in three previous Beast Philanthropy videos, asked Dan and Darren to join them on a trek to the village of Kalaguen to help them solve this problem, where they were given an incredibly warm welcome in undoubtedly one of the most beautiful places on Earth. On the first morning, Darren met up with a local Give Power engineer named Sanjay, who told him a tragic story about Nira, a woman from the village who had previously lost her baby due to the freezing temperatures and lack of appropriate medical facilities and equipment. They Same. have to travel in the monsoon roads to the nearest birthing center, and then since the birthing center was far away, they couldn't reach the birthing center and had to lose the baby. And due to a lack of government funding, this hospital would not get electricity until at least 2030. If the hospital was up and running with the birthing facility, the case with her would have been completely different. Darren knew we had to act fast to prevent this from happening again, so he also met Melissa, the founder of the Green Program, who brought a bunch of incredible students and volunteers to help finish this massive project. When I was younger, I was program. visiting my family in oh. Malaysia. It was the first time I saw the ocean. It was the first time I saw the reef. I and mean, it was really the first time okay. where I realized that if we had the opportunity to show people the beauty of nature and the yeah. world, it really unlocks something that yeah, makes us of... want to protect it too. Yeah, so yeah. we've essentially taken students from all over the world who care so deeply about making an impact and being able to expose our future generations to different perspectives. It she just stood. I'm. I mean, like, bro. At this point, I just gotta look it up, bro. Like, what's what's it, what's it called? The Green Program. I just need to look up the founder or something. Was she like a leader or something like that? Let me see about us. Uh, where's she at, bro? I'm not trying to see none of y'all, bro. Bro, where old girl at, bro? What you mean pricing? Y'all getting paid for? That y'all volunteering? Um, yo, I don't know where she at, bro. I just need. I, it's like Melissa or something, bro. Wait, hold on. Let me see what they got around here. Kevin, Lisa, uh, Amanda, Christopher, Wayne, Samantha. <gasps> oh, Maxine. Damn it. All right. Is a way that we believe can really make the world a better place. After meeting Sanjay and Melissa, Darren was more inspired than ever before to get to work by installing a solar array and batteries to power the new hospital, as well as provide all the equipment oh, to outfit the... a safe and modern birthing center to serve this vulnerable right. community. Okay, we're ready for day one. Three, two, one. So the team was beyond excited to get to work. Down. By the end of the first day, the team managed to finish all the digging and wiring. I can't really put my finger on it, but there is something about the people in this village. Their authenticity, their friendliness, and their openness has made me feel part of their families in just a few days. As we walked up to this house, somebody ran inside and he lit a fire and there's smoke coming out and we didn't know what was going on, but he went to go brew some tea. This is Himalayan black tea with ginger and it is really the best tea I've ever had in my entire life. This is the culture over here. These people are incredibly kind and welcoming and everywhere you go, they want to take care of us. They have literally opened up their houses and given us a bedroom in their house so that Dan and I have a comfortable place to stay. But not long after the construction began, Dan started to feel ill. I feel like super sick, so I've got to go over to the local post to get checked out. <laughs> Which means he can experience firsthand just how difficult it is to get treated in such a remote location. Nah, that's kind of tough, bro. You like, you literally doing, like, you're trying to help out the people in case they get sick and then you end up getting sick and you're like, bro, I didn't finish this, bro. Like, now, now he really finna have a reason behind, you know what I'm saying? Because he's gonna be like, bro, 
I know how it feels now. When I was sick, this is all we had to go through. Ah, uh, uh, like, um, W storyline, Jimmy. That'd be kind of crazy. That'd be insane if that was just for a storyline. Wild. As you can see, everything's locked up here, and that's the harsh reality. Is if you're severely ill in the village nearby, you'd have to make a seven-hour trek to get to the closest big facility that can help. Fortunately, there was a nurse on site that was able to seven see. Seven hours. Him. This is Karuna, a nurse in the local town of Kalaguan. She's come to help me. But because there is no electricity, she can only do a very basic checkup. She came to the conclusion that Dan had... Gati. Gati. Yeah. I've got Gati. It's a rare Nepalese disease. Actually, it's just a minor cold. <laughs> but for a community this size, there are often far more serious situations... Nah, that's funny. I would have said the same thing. I would have just been like, bro, I got... Bro, Gotti, bro, like, if this isn't treated within, like, three, two to three days, like, I, I might not have that much time to live, you know what I'm saying? Like, that required an immediate and comprehensive just treatment the that just are not available. With so much riding on this project, the team were already feeling the intense pressure. So while Dan got some rest, they continued with the construction. the supporting structure was built, we could begin installing the solar panels. Because of the team's hard work, we were now ahead of schedule. So Darren took the time to find out more about Sanjay. When I was working and repeating the Kumis in Upper Himalayas, we find out uh, this village with no electricity at all. And then when you get here, I saw a baby was there in a wooden box, you know, and then there was a light bulb on, you know, hitting it. And suddenly it popped my mind. And I think this kind of equipment can be, you know, built by ourselves. And after that... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, this is pretty similar to Power World. Um, whenever you're, like, incubating an egg and it's a fire type egg, you put the uh, campfire near it so that way the egg can be warmer because that's what, you know, the fire type uh, pile's gonna be used to. And then it'll, it'll, like, hatch faster. So, like, that's a pretty similar method that they're using out there uh, for their kids, but that's just to keep them warm so they can grow up because if they are just cold all throughout the night, there's a chance they might not grow up type shit. I formed a team out here in Nepal, and then we were able to make a baby warmer, and we call it Nano Nani in Nepali. That means that a warm apps. child. Nano Nani became such a success that it won a People's Choice Award in the USA. I think it's a dream come true for me because the vision is like to you know to build this kind of warmer and then to aware the people about the significance in remote settings and the remote hospital like this in the background. Realizing the life-saving importance of simple medical so equipment, country. Darren decided to surprise Sanjay by buying ten more baby warmers that he could give to other communities and similar needs. Sanjay, um, I want to buy another 10 of those baby warmers from you and let you just go give it to whatever hospitals or communities need them. Thank, thank you very much, Darren. It means a lot for me and the team. Yeah, it, it just feels so real. With That's only good, one day remaining, we were so close to finishing the construction. And the whole team gathered to sign the final solar panel. Yeah. And Darren had the honor of tightening the final bolt. Together, we turned a broken building with no electricity into a fully operational hospital that will service over 16,000 people in this community. I have so much gratitude That's for tough, the fact bro. that we are able to come in here and give them a gift that will make a meaningful difference to these people for generations to come. It's getting close to nightfall now, and it's nearly time to surprise the community, and I can't wait. The whole village came to the hospital to witness the lights turn on for the first time. Are you ready? come on for the first time in a community it never gets old and it's been absolutely yeah, tough, incredible bro. sharing it with that's this community tough. the next morning sanjay invited nira back to the hospital so he could show her all of the new equipment including his baby warmers 
now she is very much optimistic that no one has to go through what she went through. She is very happy and grateful for the birthing facility over here. Namaste. Before the final surprise, I want to say a huge thanks to the sponsor. In front of a green screen? Answer this video. The best food on the planet, not Feastables, <laughs> Kellogg's, for just this time being, because they're helping us help people. <laughs> From today until June 31st, 2024, Kellogg's is team. June 31st? Wait, did he say 21st? Because they're helping us help people. <laughs> From today until June 31st. June is 31 days in it? No, no, right? June has 30, and then July and August have 31. 31 days, right? Actually, no, I don't even need to look it up, bro. Look, there's a, there's a method, bro. It's the knuckle trick, bro. Um, disregard, uh, my hands aren't white. It's just the camera. Um, oh, so, like, the knuckle, the top of your knuckle means a month has 31 days. And if you go in, in, like, in between, it has less than 30, uh, less than 31 days, right? So, January, February, March, April, May, June. June has 30. July. And then you start back over. August. September, October, November, December, and then it stops there. But uh, it technically supposed to do it like together like this, but either way it works. You know what I'm saying? But just for shits and gigs, I mean, like I'll June thirty first, because like maybe this year is different. Twenty twenty oh June thirty one, twenty twenty four. Alright. 2024, Kellogg's is teaming up with Minecraft to give you free oh. exclusive character creator items. Like this, a camel hat, an axolotl hat, and a cherry blossom dress. To use in-game when you buy any participating specially marked boxes of Kellogg's cereal. Like these, Kellogg's Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, Apple Jacks, and Corn Pops. The aim is to collect Kellogg's Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, Apple Jacks, and Corn Pops. Alright, you're out of these, right? Out of these, I think the big three. There should be no question about it. At least in my household, the big three was Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, and Apple Jacks. There is only once, maybe twice in my life that I can remember where I put all three of these cereal in one bowl. Where like one third Fruit Loops, one third Frosted Flakes, one third Apple Jacks, and like kind of like swirled them around in my spoon and like you know what I say I hope for the best. Fruit Loops and Apple Jacks is an amazing combo. But when you put Frosted Flakes in there, it kind of like, it kind of throws off the vibe. Because Frosted Flakes are so sweet. But I think Frosted Flakes, if you mix them with other flakes, like Corn Flakes or other like, you know what I'm saying? That could probably work. I don't think I've ever done that before. But like the Loop cereal though, you could do that. And Cheerios are too different to, like you don't want to mix Cheerios with Fruit Loops or Apple Jacks. But you can. I just wouldn't recommend it, you know? These are my big three right here. These are my big three. Um, in order, I think I like Fruit Loops the most. There was a point in time where I, I could not start my day without eating Apple Jacks. There was a point in my life where Apple Jacks were like the core of my happiness. If I went into the pantry and there were no Apple Jacks in there, I was not having a great day, right? Um, pops are disgusting. I, I've never liked Pops. I don't think I ever will. That's why I haven't. That's why I've just disregarded them this whole time. I probably should have just paused before the Pops even came on the screen. Fruit Loops number one, Apple Jacks number two, Ross Flex number three. But they all have their days, though, where, like, I still eat them now, and I'll be like, bro, these Frosted Flakes hitting different, bruh. Or I'll be like, bro, these Apple Jacks are amazing. This reminds me of, like, peak. You know what I mean? So, you know. The aim is to collect all three character creator items. And on top of all this, Minecraft and Kellogg's have partnered with the Arbor Day Foundation. Arbor, Arbor Day. Day is the same foundation that helped us do team trees. And they're planting 250,000 oh. trees in forests of great need in the USA. That's pretty epic. Click the link in the description to find out more as well as check out all the terms and conditions. Okay, Feastables, I'm sorry for cheating on you, but I gotta do what I gotta do to help people. Thank you, Kellogg's, for sponsoring this video. Hey, let's get back into it. When speaking to Sanjay, we found out that although he is Nepalese, he has never... I like how, like, even when Mr. Beast is in an ad for Kellogg's going over all their stuff, he still finds a way to, like, low-key promote Feastables in there. Like, low-key. Never right? been to Everest. And it has always been a dream of his to see... But I feel like Feastables is at, like, that mainstream level to where, like, you don't need to attach Mr. Beast's name to it in order for it to sell. Because, like, the common person might just walk in and be like, oh, some chocolate. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 
and then they eat that, and they're like, oh, this chocolate's really good, you know? They don't, like, need a person with 200 million subscribers telling them to eat the chocolate kind of thing. See the massive mountain. So on the last morning, we decided to surprise him with a once-in-a-lifetime trip. We're so close to Everest, it just made sense that we go visit it. We took Sanjay to the highest point on Everest that a helicopter can reach. The oh, I was about to say that. What is the high? Like, how high is Everest? But I feel like I want... Uh, I feel like I need to have a training arc where I um, climb Mount Everest. I feel like that's... Has any streamers ever climbed Mount Everest? What? 29,000? Bro, planes be flying at like 30, right? I do planes fly on average. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right. All right, I was like 31 to 40. Okay. So this is insane for just a human to be up here, bruh. It costs? 60 that What do you mean it costs? Bro, I promise you I walk up to this mountain and I start climbing this thing. I am not gonna pay a dime, bruh. What are you what are you talking about? Cost? What do you what do you mean? Oh, it's probably to have like an escort or something on there. Okay, so Wait, is K2 more difficult? Is a more deadly mountain? Mountain is 45 degree angle climbs? No matter the route they take? Oh, GG, bruh. Nah, dude. Yeah, I thought I've heard about K2, dude. I thought K2 was like a, a training mountain for, for Mount Everest. That's 28? Dude, what the fuck? Nah, that's wild, bro. Yeah, when I think of Nepal, I think uh, Mount Everest, though. Like, that's literally the only thing I think of when I hear when I hear the country of Nepal. Air was so thin. So that is interesting, though. It, it, it's a good thing now that they're uh, fixing their problems. And Darren, Dan, and Sanjay as far were as, like, only allowed to spend two minutes up there, or they could get hypoxia from lack of oxygen. Darren and I are at the highest point we've ever been together. I can't believe this happening. Seeing Everest literally brought Sanjay to his knees with emotion. It's so overwhelming. It's a dream for me to come here and see the Everest. Again, I just want to thank our partners at Give Power. Yeah, try, I'm climbing that, bro. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I'm built different, bro. Like, I... Obviously, it's going to take a couple years. I'm probably not going to do it till I'm, like, 35 or whatever. Have there been... Uh, I just need to see if there's been a streamer to do it yet. Streamer... Climbs Everest. I think it takes like a month. Streamer currently live streaming his climb up to Everest. Hopefully people don't log in thinking he's actually climbing it. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, I know Ice Poseidon, I, I was just about to say, Ice Poseidon definitely has, like, done something like that. I was thinking that, that was my first thought, I was like, Ice Poseidon probably, if anybody did it, it'd be Ice Poseidon, bro. Ice Poseidon, he's, he's just built different when it comes to IRL streaming, bro. And the green program for making this project possible. Obviously, a lot goes into making these projects, and so if you want to learn more about it, Dan actually made a behind-the-scenes video that you can click the link in the description to go watch. This is what happens behind the scenes on a Beast Philanthropy shoot. Enjoy. Clap your thing. We got it. <laughs> I've noticed you guys click off at the end of the video, so this time when I talk, there'll be a cat video playing. So you actually keep watching while I say 100% of all the ad revenue and all just the revenue in general we make off this video goes to Beast Philanthropy. to be. So as always, by watching this video, you're allowing us to help people. Please go watch more videos and subscribe right now, or you just hate helping people. W, uh, W flying through your vid, Jimmy. Try to knock off fast food restaurants. That's a real thing. Good vids, good vids, good vids, good vids, good vids. How do people dislike this? Like, what is there to dislike about the video? Like, the way that it's shot? Like, what, like, what are you talking about?
Since we were really good before what you have done. Thank you. Because then there's going to be people talking about something. Oh, I really wish Jimmy would uh, stop recording these people and making it look like their country is down bad. Like, bro, these people are asking him for help. Like, what What are you talking about, bro? Well, I, I, I don't even.